Hi, Mr. Rabelais here with a homework helper on perpendicular and parallel. Now those two things we talk about in geometry, and you wouldn't think that would be so difficult, but the kids have a really, really tough time remembering what's perpendicular, what that means, and what parallel means. Let me show you a couple of the tricks that I teach my kids so that we can work through the difference between perpendicular and parallel. They will have it in fifth grade and junior high, and of course, obviously in high school when they get into geometry, so they really need to nail it right now in the fourth grade. Perpendicular, of course, it, the definition is <clears throat> lines that touch or meet and form at least one right angle. So the trick I tell them for the word perpendicular is to draw this big L, and that reminds you of kind of a right angle, perpendicular. Whenever they see the word parallel, they're supposed to circle the two L's. Those two lines, the definition, of course, of parallel being two lines that do, will never, do not touch or meet. They are always like this or like that or maybe at an angle or something, but they will never touch or meet no matter how far you draw them out. You could draw these lines out forever and they will never touch or meet. Parallel. So there's the little trick. The big L perpendicular with the right angle. The two lines parallel showing the parallel lines. Let me show you how the problem is normally presented in the fourth grade and the kids find this pretty challenging, but let me show you what you can do to help them. So you normally have a bunch of scattered lines on a plane like this and they'll say which lines appear to be perpendicular or which lines appear to be parallel. What they need to do is remember to stop and think what is perpendicular. Maybe write out the definition of perpendicular so they can think to themselves, I'm looking for perpendicular. That's the right angle. They can take their mathematics chart, they can use the corner of that paper and they can find one that makes a 90 degree angle. Not any good. Bigger than 90 degrees, that's obtuse. Smaller than 90 degrees, that's acute. Here's one. There are the two lines that make a nice right angle. They are perpendicular. Now how about parallel? Take a look at the different lines. Let's see, we've got uh, this line and we've got this line, but if you drew them together, no, they touch or meet. That is not parallel. How about this line and this line? Well, if I were to extend those lines and write them out, if I extended those lines, they would eventually touch or meet. They do not meet the test for parallel. However, this line and this line appear to be parallel. They even match the little cheek thing, the little L's that stand around, the little uh, memory device. So perpendicular, Lines that touch or meet and make at least one right angle. Parallel, lines that will never touch or meet. Help your kid practice parallel and perpendicular. They really need to nail that for fourth grade. This is a homework helper for perpendicular and parallel practice.